Hey, 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 what's up? So today we're going to talk about the Slate Raven. Uh, this was the first product that I had uh, brought into my home from the Slate company. And um, basically it comes from, you know, I started in recording in a world where we use these big mixers and analog stuff and tape decks and stuff. And so I, uh, you know, it's the world I grew up in, I even, you know, re really four tracks and stuff like that, like way back in the day. Um, there was always hands-on mixers, um, and so when computers came around, it was super cool because you get to do all this awesome stuff, but no longer do you get to do it in your hand. you got to do everything with this mouse. Um, and so that, you know, that has a tendency to lead a person to slumping like this and you know you just kind of you become a robot uh, in my opinion like I would I would become a robot we're talking about me my mouse is over here and I would just be like stuck like a statue you know your back gets sore and stuff and it's just like uh. so naturally I tried out control services like the Mackie you know HUI and all this kind of stuff um, all every company's version of control services or faders you know I would try and nothing was like, you know, nothing was really it or the knob thing, you know, like nothing was it because, you know, like, I don't know, in, unless maybe you go to like one of those big, 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 uh, you know, big consoles, you know, like the big Pro Tools consoles, this whole thing, like the SSL where everything is right. They're like, but who has six figures to put on a console? Uh, I have four figures or three, high three figures to put towards something like that. And so I, I got a Raven. Um, and this is the Raven console and so as you can see this console uh, looks like a console um, it's got as many kind of channels as I want you know I can bank through them which is nice turn that little channel strip off there um, I can bank through them which is nice my pan solos and mutes um, I can use two fingers on the faders like at the same time I can use three if I want I think I can use up to ten is what I can actually I can pop open my plugins and start to play with those. So immediately, what I realized <clears throat> about using the Raven, because um, I I don't like to forth the technical stuff as much as I like to just make some music and like do some stuff. So um, once I get some stuff to where it's like working, usually by then I've been not making music long enough to where I'm like, okay, cool, it works finally. Let's make some music, and uh, the music starts to happen and. Uh, I realized as the more stuff that I did with the Raven, uh, man, I really liked it because you know the, the the more I did with this, the less I did with this, and uh, before I know it, um, you know, like nearly a hundred percent non-mouse, like all Raven, navigating around sessions. There's really not much you can't do. And once you get used to it, even and it's not designed to do a lot of the smaller stuff that I'm constantly doing on it. Um, but uh, like I said, I don't, I don't see any. You know, the longer I've been doing it, I have less and less of a problem. You know, if you need to go through and solo a bunch of tracks or not solo a bunch of tracks, I think I just did, or just one, or this one, or that one, or even the tiny little sins, um, I seem to be able to grab those no problem. Um, and so that's one aspect is that you know mixing is uh, more of a physical, and, and and producing music is more of a physical activity than uh, perhaps you think it is, or it can be more of a physical activity than perhaps you think it is. Um, I have learned that I love being totally involved and using my whole body and not being a statue. And so there's that, which is cool. Um, the other thing that's really dope about this is the software that it comes with. Uh, the Raven software itself uh, is is built for speed. It's built to just make your life faster and easier. Um, so you see all these buttons around here. Uh, these little panels, those are my custom panels that you're seeing. Um, and so in my custom panel stuff, closest to my transport, so you've got a transport, and right above it you can save your layouts and stuff for this thing, uh, and you can switch your banks and then undo and redo. I like to have all that stuff right, right close, like they they set it up that way. It's like cool. That's fine. Um, right next to that, I have this little panel which has stop, undo, record, save, new take, record. So that is exactly what you think it is. As I'm going through takes here, um, if I do a take and nope, not quite it, I hit that once and that stops it, undoes it, starts it over. Um, just one pop. Um, if I want to do it again but I want to keep it, then I hit the button right under it. 
um, and, and that will save that take, give me a new take, roll it out again. Um, that kind of stuff is infinitely possible with the Raven. Um, any other kind of man's commands? I have some of this is built in to uh, help me when I'm out doing the drum. Sometimes I'll use the Slate Raven control app on my phone and uh, I'll put it on the little hi-hat stand there and that's what I'll use to stop and start uh, all the this in here in the control room. Um, so I've got spacebar, record, and, and some functions there that are really for out there. Um, but other useful functions, setting the start point, the rewind, rewinding to it, click on and off, return to zero, pause, deleting things, exporting things, add track, add a stereo, a mono, a similar, or whatever you want MIDI. Um, all these, this guy over here drops in uh, my virtual instruments if I want. So say I'm ready to put uh, a little synth from Lethal. I just put the track, tap on the track that I wanted to go under, and then I hit Lethal down here, and this guy's gonna do the rest. The next thing you know, I've got Lethal popped up, ready to go. That's just a basic thing. Or I can just one press of undo and all that's gone. Maybe I hit the wrong one. What I wanted to do was throw some easy drummer up on there. Um, again, one press, woo, 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 it's magic. And there's my drum kit. It's like terrible drumming, man. Ooh, not much better. But uh, so anyways, um, and of course you get to do that little move. That's fun too. Um, you can also, when it comes to editing and your sequence stuff, um, you can drag around the screen like this. Um, if you want to mess with your in and out points, you can zoom in so you can make sure you get them just right. Pull that back out. So in a nutshell, that's the Raven. And I can even show you all the things if I go into customize. Hey, look at all this stuff I'm not even using. Um, I can have these quick shortcut pads. I think they're like, oh yeah, the floating mixer. Not using that. Not using that. Essential, not using that. So, I mean, like all this stuff is so at your fingertips. It's amazing. And I didn't even mention, mention yet that there's like a new thing with gestures they just released where you can use gestures to trick off command. I haven't, man, I mean, I haven't even got that far. This thing is absolutely bonkers awesome. So uh, that's the Slate Raven. I'm, of course, a fan. You might be too. Give it a try one day. See ya.